like what you did here. Yep, I like that. That's a, this is good stuff. So, George, what do you think? Let's get this revolution started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of... That's right, Chefs and State. Today, we are not on the sports stuff, but a 2020 Harley Davidson Loretta. And I'm breathing hard. It's a little warm today. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay. You got my heart beating, baby. Anyways, today we're on a 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Oh, 15 miles. Let's get her in the wind. And um, so, now that we're rolling, this beautiful beast was made possible to ride today by our good friends over at Hampton Roads Harley Davidson. Make sure to check them out. Good people, good, good people, real good people. My best friends. Let's see, let's see. All right, we'll let this car go. So yeah, today we're doing like a nice little test ride. Good weather today on this Harley Davidson Lowrider S in black. And uh, my first time riding this bike, and I'm I'm not necessarily doing reviews. I'm definitely not doing you know like specs and stats and all that stuff because that ain't me. That ain't what I do. I mean, I'm not that smart. And oh man, but I tell you, this thing handles in the corners already. Um, so going from my little road stuff to this, more pep, duh, obviously, and. I like these risers on here and this seat is comfortable like as soon as it took off out of the parking lot I was like hmm hmm don't think about it Timmy don't think about it because uh can't get rid of the road stuff can't do it but it is very tempting very very tempting so whew, beautiful so we got a nice little tag pedometer here get the miles gear indicator all that good stuff it's uh keyless and smooth shifting Woo. ah yeah and like i said i'm just out here enjoying the day on this beautiful bike and man i i tell you like this is the one drawback about being able to do test ride videos I get to test ride many different bikes. I've done Heritage, Street, Road Glide, all that. And, um, you know, some of these bikes you really fall in love with and you go home and you're like, I really want that bike. If I hit the lotto or this YouTube thing takes off, please guys, help me out. I got an addiction here. But man, if it takes off, I, I definitely would have a garage just full. Do I need that many bikes? Probably not, but come on guys kind of like Pokemon gotta collect them all if you're into Pokemon anyways <laughs> so I'm out here you saw my good friend George Washington there reading over you know we the people and uh you know that's one of the great things out here in Virginia this is Yorktown and they get the Revolutionary Museum out here we have a lot of history out here in Virginia about just being rebellious you know it's, it's in our blood American thing to do and um, I'm proud of it and part of being American is you know we like to do great things and I like to do great things on a Harley Davidson because you know I don't know if you guys ever seen the uh, the TV series you know um, Harley and the Davidsons but I actually got it on DVD and you know i bought my bike i got kind of hooked on you know the heart of days and lifestyle all that stuff got drawn into it i even joined the hawks for a short period of time <laughs> but um i'm not laughing um <laughs> but anyways so yeah i got drawn into it and then like i watched that tv series or whatever and it drew me even more because you know the harley days the story is it's very inspirational like to start from nothing in a in a shed in a shed in your backyard and build something that's this great company today even facing all the challenges that were thrown at them you know 
So, I mean, if you haven't seen that show, I definitely recommend watching it. Uh, like I said, and you know, my understanding, I watched the show and it made me want to research more and everything. And yes, a lot of the things in that show were exaggerated and everything, but you know, it, it's still an inspirational story. Some of the things happened, some of the things didn't happen, but but it made me want to research more. And then, like, I actually went all the way out to the Harley Davidson Museum, and I'm here in Virginia, so. My wife actually surprised me and we flew out there in November and I definitely advise never to do that. You know, go out there, but do it in the summertime. We um, we went out there in November, we flew out there, my first time flying, which was cool. And, you know, we got out there, everything's fine, got a rental car. We stayed at the Iron Horse Hotel. Definitely, definitely definitely recommend that place it is awesome definitely check it out um really nice the, the shower in there was like huge like the size of the room huge and i enjoyed it i got like a big old glass window so i got to watch my wife like take a shower while laying in bed sweet and uh, <laughs> so definitely check that out then the harley davidson museum is right around the corner from there so we went over there we checked it out walked around got to see the history of Got to see what they believe is bike number one. I don't know if it's exactly bike number one, but you know, so. But that was pretty cool. Or serial number one, I think is what it was. So, but got to see all that, all the different bikes throughout the years. You know, little memorabilia and all that stuff. Um, we actually drove around to the headquarters, but it was Sunday when we got over there, so it was closed. But it was still cool to kind of stand there and. I will say my impression, and this is in November, um, while we were there, like you stand at the headquarters, you look at the headquarters, like, wow, this thing is awesome. And then like, just a couple blocks over, you're like, this is sketchy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we also ate at the, um, the little Harley Davidson bar cafe that's over there, which really good food, really awesome atmosphere. I definitely recommend checking that out. And, the suck part was when we were ready to head home we woke up the next day and you know got in a rental car drove back it started snowing and we're like great so we get to uh close to the airport we stop and eat this little pizza place and the lady was talking to us and like yeah we're getting ready to fly back home she was like oh your flight wasn't canceled and we're like uh not that i'm aware of what do you mean she goes i said it's just a little bit of snow just a little bit it was it was just like a little bit it wasn't much on the road but it was getting worse much worse <laughs> and she goes yeah they'll cancel over like hard rain i was like ah so i looked at my flight sure enough delayed 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 so we we run over to the airport after we get done eating our pizza really good pizza and uh so we run over to the airport and we find out we're like yep it's been delayed they said like an hour delay okay well, hour went by, delay, delay, delay. Finally, canceled. We're like, mother sucker. So we had two options. We could either wait till, I think it was like nine o'clock in the morning. Yay. And this is at six o'clock in the evening. So we could wait till nine o'clock in the morning or we could drive back. So what did we do? Went, got a rental car. Luckily we got it pretty cheap. Told the guy we'll drop it off at the Richmond Airport. And it started snowing really bad at this point. And um God. So 18 hours guys. From keep in mind I was up from 7 o'clock that morning all the way up until we got home 18 hours later in Richmond till 12 o'clock in the afternoon or almost one. And then I think our flight ended up getting in around two. So we, we beat them there. I drove all night and I'm talking about, I was struggling to stay awake and my wife hated me for this, but I knew the only way I was gonna stay awake and not kill us driving in the snow was I rolled down all the windows and I cranked the AC up. She boned it up with my jacket and everything. I just sat down in a t-shirt and like just suffered trying to stay awake. But we did it, we survived. 
and long story short um like i was saying don't go there in november go there in the summer check it out but the harley davidson museum is really awesome the headquarters was really awesome to check out and my whole point of all this is i love the history of harley because it's kind of a the american thing of screw you i'm gonna do this get out of my way we're gonna make it happen and i think we the american people need to keep that in mind so whatever is in our way we're gonna get through it and we're gonna work together to make sure it happens and uh you know make sure you vote for me for president um <laughs> but uh anyways so this great american company has seen their ups and downs and they have built great things and this is one of them right here the lowrider s i really love this bike already and uh like i just had it parked on the side of the road or over there by the water taking some pictures and everything and i got so many compliments on it nice bike and i was like well it's a dealerships but thank you um so I guess they can look at it as that was free advertisement for them. <laughs> um, but let's see. All right, I think this is about my turnaround point. So I'm gonna go down here by the water, bust a little lefty, and then head on back because they're gonna want to buy. They only filled it up with half a tank this time, guys. And I sure I've talked long enough, anyways. I just want to tell y'all my little story while I was enjoying this because. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a technical guy when it comes to this stuff. I just know what I like, and I know what I like riding. Ooh, yeah. It will go. On one of my favorite roads, too. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful bike. I, I just like the Road King, I think I got an itch again. I kind of like this. I can probably get a nice seat for the uh, back of this for my wife to ride. I think there's rear pegs on this. I'll have to check that out when I get back. But, um, and I want to say, and this isn't the dealership telling me price. I want to say these are about, what are they? About the $20,000 range, 17,000. So, but whew, beautiful freaking bike. I like the black with like the gold, um, Harley Davidson written out on the side. I like the risers. This actually puts it up at a good height, which puts the mirrors at the right height. Unlike my Roadster, which I can't see nothing out of my mirrors. And I'm still rambling guys. Um, definitely definitely recommend this bike go over to your local harley davidson dealership and um test drive one even take it home make it yours because you know all bikes need a home anyways so i rambled on long enough and i don't i apologize if i'm not as uppity as i was in my last video if you watch that but i don't know if that was annoying or not anyways <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna cut it off here thank you guys for riding with me today i hope you enjoyed the view from this harley davidson lowrider s with the monoshock i guess i gotta throw that in there the monoshock is really nice and smooth yeah along with the seat uh, i might have to do it i don't know guys what do y'all think should i let go of the roadster and get this lowrider s let me know in the comments give me a like hit the subscribe button Man, because I'm going to be riding a lot more bikes too. So keep following along. Sorry for rambling. Y'all ride safe. And I'll catch you next time. Woo! For to be wild.